Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another blade review, another machete. Another pickup from Bud K. This is the United Cutlery Colombian Panga Machete. They call it a Panga Machete. I think it's a Parang, personally. Um, I don't know, that's what they call it. I went and checked just to make sure it wasn't a typo on the website. And uh, on the website and the little container it says Panga, both sides. I'd say this is a Parang. Um, here's one of my other blades. It's definitely a Parang. The uh, Bear Grylls. Hmm. Those look an awful lot alike. Uh, Parangs are Malaysian. Pangas, I believe, if memory serves, are South American in origin style. So, anyway. Um, don't have a true Panga here at the moment to show you. I've got one, but just didn't get it. Uh, this is a Parang, okay? Uh, as far as I'm concerned. Just, they can call it whatever the heck they want. As you can tell, similar styling to the Sawback Kukri Machete, which I'll show you here in a minute to compare. We're going to talk about this blade here for a minute. Um, 15 inch blade, about 24 inches overall, just shy of 24 inches uh, overall, so two feet. 20 bucks is what these things run for. I got it for 18 because I got my little buyer's discount. So I, was, so I thought it was interesting, thought I'd pick it up, have not seen anything much about it. Again, it's got that nice, cool kind of pirate cutlass kind of feel to it, slashing around through the bush, something like that. Now obviously, like I said, this is a slasher, so this is going to be probably better for smaller vines and stuff like that than it is for any heavy duty use. Now you can't use it for that. Um, so well, that's an awful big sweep on the blade. Well, some of that's for safety. When you swing with this thing, the blade, just by the way it's angled, is going to cut into whatever in the heck you're chopping at and your hand's not going to reach it. Now, so, so don't mind endanger your hand. Now, that's not such a concern because you've got this you know, guard here on it all the way around. But anyway, comes quite sharp for a machete, very reasonable. It's stainless. Um, I believe it's OS 5 steel. Don't know where I put my little piece of paper there. But uh, ah, here it is. It does say here somewhere. At least I thought it did. Yep. No, OS 6 stainless. Sorry about that. OS 6. Um, stainless steel. Doesn't say the all six on it, but uh, Chinese blade, uh, stainless steel, United Cutlery on this end. Well made, got a little hole here to hang it up, that type thing. Very thick, very thick blade, uh, thicker than most of your machetes. What stands out, like a lot of the United Cutlery machetes, is this nice handle. Nice, grippy, rubberized, uh, feels great, lots of texture on it all the way around, even on the inside here. So show you that up close. It's also effectively full tang. The tang stops right about there, if you can see that. So it's not technically full tang, but darn it, it's close enough. So there we go. There's our nice grips. This one is highlighted in the gray or silver. Um, got some covers there to cover up the rivets. Uh, lanyard hole at the back side, and of course some rope, black, coiled up for you there to use. Uh, it's not paracord, but still, it's nice enough. Again, just got this, have not used it out in the field yet, but nice grips, just like the rest of the United line of machetes, just like this. So, very comfy, could do a lot of work with this. So, 20 bucks, it's a steal for 18, it's even better. Sheath, got two snaps on it. Pretty basic there. Basic cordura sheath, nothing real impressive, but it's going to be durable enough. This is going to be fine, it's going to do the job fairly well. It's about on par with most of your cold steel machete uh, sheets and all that. Not as good as your condor line, but <laughs> I've never seen anything better than a condor line, in my opinion. Um, two snaps on it here, like I said, and uh, belt loop on the back side. Just a standard belt loop, you know, no horizontal carry, anything like that. But you're probably not going to do that with something this big anyway. Now, let's compare this to its cousin, the Sawback Kukri Machete, which you've already seen a review of back in the day. There we go. For all intents and purposes, these are almost identically the same length. Uh, blade length looks to be a little bit longer on the Kukri blade, but again, it's different style blades, okay? These aren't, aren't comparable at all. Very different purposes. Um, Kukri, I would say for general purpose for heavy use, is going to be better. I think I like this one better. Um, you know, nothing wrong with this one, but uh, for heavy duty use, any kind of hardwood limb stuff like that, you're going to chop through. Well, you need a chopping blade, so Kukri's going to do that and do it well. 
And as an added bonus, you've got your saw edge here on the back. So if you can saw through something even bigger that you don't want to dull your blade up on. So more options with this one in my opinion. Uh, we're just kind of going to come down to where you're using these blades, okay? What are you using them for? Uh, if I'm just clearing you know, high grass or vines, stuff like that, you know, slashing through stuff, trying to make a path, I'm going to go for this one. This is a slasher, so if I need to slash, definitely better. If I need to chop, this is going to be better. So, honestly, on both. Uh, as you can tell, I picked different colors. Uh, I picked the yellow and the kukri just because it was more high vis. I'd be able to see it if I dropped it, you know, chucked it into a tree, walked away, and it fell off. I could I could find it in the high grass, that sort of stuff. I don't know if they make it in the uh, yellow on the uh, parang slash panga. Um, all I saw was the gray, silver, whatever they call that, and uh, decided to pick it up just to be different so I could set these two apart. So if I've got these sitting in the little bin there, I keep some of my machetes where they, I store them, you know, like so, I can see which one I want. You know, I just see the handles, I may grab the wrong one. Well, I could grab the next one if it was the wrong one, but still, different colors just going to set them apart. Just because I did it, just because I wanted to. Not necessary. I would... If I had to own one of these, I'd probably get it in the yellow, but I don't know if they make it in that yet. All I saw on Bud K was this color, though I honestly didn't look real hard. I was going to get a different color anyhow. I uh, wish they had something else like orange or red or just something else you could see. Um, either way, well-made blade. Very well-made. Going to take a lot of abuse. Can't wait to go out and try this bad boy. Again, it's got that kind of pirate feel to it. A little slasher cutlass thing going on. So, um, Different than if I'm playing you know, Gurkha, you know, Kukri style. Uh, just different blades for different purposes. Run the same price, 20 bucks, a little less if you got the buyer's discount. I recommend both of them. And uh, as you saw in my Bear Grylls, yes, I must confess, I do own most of the Bear Grylls line. Just to have it, just because I want to see what it's like. I love the grips on these too. I will be doing some Bear Grylls gear review at some point, but it's not high on my priority list. I'd call it a yuppie blade, but it's not bad. Oh, it's got a purpose. But uh, for the price, either of these are great, guys. Uh, this is just a new offering from United Cutlery that I had not seen before, so thought I'd share it with you. Um, again, as you can tell, Clean Blade have not done much of anything with it yet, but uh, I've used these type of blades before and love them. For the price, tough to beat. MD Prepper, out.